Hi everybody, I'm Hala Khoury, and what I want to talk about today is, for those of you that want to teach yoga, um, it's really important as a yoga teacher to understand and have an understanding in yourself about why yoga works and how it works in really practical terms. In the teacher training that I teach with Julian and in all of my trainings, really the foundation of why yoga works is that yoga helps us feel good inside ourselves. And when we're feeling good inside ourselves, our experience of the world is different and our relationships get better. So what happens when we do yoga? The first thing that happens when we do yoga, if we're teaching within this framework, is that the yoga practice is an opportunity for us to connect with ourselves. Just a chance to slow down, breathe, and notice what's going on inside of you. Most of our life is about distraction television, media, food, busyness, how many of us run around all day and never stop to check in. So one, yoga is an opportunity for us to connect with ourselves. Number two, when we practice yoga, we cultivate an ability to be present with our discomfort. Now, that might not sound like the funnest idea, but if we're avoiding our discomfort, if we're afraid of it, that's what leads to addiction. That's what leads to running away and to, to shame that often comes with those addictive behaviors. But if we can sit and pause and feel the discomfort in our hips or in our thighs and stay present with it, what happens is we move through it. And on the other side of that is greater freedom. But if we're always running away from discomfort, we're going to get caught in a cycle of pain. And the final thing that's really foundational to the way that I like to train yoga teachers and we like to talk about yoga is that yoga cultivates resilience. I love that word resilience. Resilience is about being able to be okay even when our environment or our circumstance is not optimal. Resilience is thriving despite our adversity. And so when we're resilient, we're not afraid of pain, we're not afraid of discomfort. We know that we're going to be okay on the other side of it, and we're not running away from ourselves. So if you think about how yoga has impacted you, think about some of these ideas that being able to be with ourselves, not fearing our discomfort, and feeling resilient really, really is liberation. So please check us out. Um, my website is halakori.com, and the Awakened Heart Embodied Mind Teacher Training. Our website is A-H-E-M, Awakened Heart Embodied Mind, a-H-E-M, yoga teacher training dot